sagutan natin tong problems, evaluate the following functions. So, given f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2, g of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 1, and h of x is equal to square root of x plus 1, evaluate for the first number we have f of negative 2. So, if we are evaluating a function at a specific value, so in this uh, problem, we need to evaluate f at negative 2. Ipapalit lang natin yung mga values nung x dito sa f of x ay negative 2. So, therefore, to evaluate f of negative 2, we have, gamitin natin tong f of x. Sa so palitan natin yung mga x ng negative 2 sa so magiging negative 2 square minus 3 times negative 2 plus 2. So, simplify, negative 2 quantity squared, that's positive 4. Negative 3 times negative 2, that's positive 6 plus 2. So, simplifying, 4 plus 6 plus 2, that's 12. Next, for number 2, we have g of 1 half. Okay, so gagamitin naman natin yung g of x at papalitan natin yung mga values ng x ng 1 half. So, therefore, magiging x gagawin natin 1 half plus 2 over x ulit, gagawing 1 half minus 1. So, meron tayong complex fractions. So, para masimplify itong complex fraction, imamultiply ko lang both numerator and denominator sa LCD ng involved denominators sa both numerator and denominator. So, ang involved lang na denominator is 2 lang, right? So, therefore, yan yung imamultiply ko both numerator and denominator para masimplify yung complex fraction. So, pag multiply natin itong 2 sa numerator, distribute. So, we need to multiply 2 times 1 half. 2 times 1 half, it's 1. Plus 2 times 2, it's 4. Over, so doing the same, multiply 2 sa bawat term sa denominator. So, 1 half times 2, it's 1. Then, minus 1 times 2, it's 2. So, simplifying, we have 1 plus 4, it's 5. Over 1 minus 2, negative 1. So, 5 divided by negative 1, it's negative 5. Next, for number 3, we have h of 8. Okay, so gamitin naman natin yung h of x and then palit natin yung 8 sa mga x sa so magiging h of x is equal to the square root ng x, gagawin yung 8 plus 1. So, we have square root ng 8 plus 1, that's 9. So, square root of 9, it's just 3. Next, for number 4, we have f of x plus 1. So, this time, ang ipapalit naman natin sa mga x, ito sa f of x, is hindi a single constant, but it's two terms na nag involve pa rin ng variable x, which is x plus 1. So, papalitan natin lahat ng mga x sa f of x ng x plus 1 sa so magiging x squared will be x plus 1 squared minus 3x, yung x papalitan nyo ulit ng x plus 1, then plus 2. So, simplifying, so x plus 1 squared, square of a binomial, so that will be square of the first, x squared, product of the first and the second, x times 1, it's x, tas laging may times 2, so 2 times x, it's 2x, plus the square of the second, 1 squared, it's just 1. Then, distribute itong negative 3, so negative 3 times x, negative 3x, negative 3 times 1, negative 3, and then plus 2. So, we will have x squared, combined similar terms, 2x minus 3x, that's negative 1x or negative x. Then, combine the constant, 1 minus 3 plus 2, 1 minus 3, that's negative 2, plus 2, 0. So, therefore, the final answer, it's just x squared minus x. Next, for number 5, we have g of 1 over x. So, this time, evaluate natin yung g of x sa 1 over x. Papalitan natin lahat ng x ng g of x ng 1 over x. So, magiging x will be 1 over x plus 2 over x again, 1 over x minus 1. So, again, we have a complex fraction. So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator sa LCD ng involved denominator sa numerator denominator which is obviously x lang, right? So, multiplying both numerator and denominator by x, we have, for the numerator, distribute the x, so we will have x times 1 over x, so that's 1, then, plus 2 times x, it's 2x. Over, so same sa denominator, multiply x, distribute, 1 over x times x, it's 1, then x times negative 1, negative x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. 
Lastly, for number 6, we have h of x squared minus 1. So, using h of x, papalitan natin yung x ng x squared minus 1. So, we will have square root ng x, gagawin yung x squared minus 1, then copy plus 1. So, simplifying, we have x squared, combine negative 1 plus 1, that's just 0, so cancel. So, we will just have square root of x squared, and square root of x squared is equal to x. Okay, now it's your turn. So, try nyo namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.